Welcome to the Grow Your Business Cleveland video series. Co-producing and appearing in the series, the talented GYB CLE interns. Supporting sponsors include NOAC, a regional partnership of Chambers of Commerce, New Image Media, Northeast Ohio's most recognized name in video for business. In this episode, Bruce Felber, corporate brand specialist, marketing czar, and ultimate volunteer, shares outcome selling versus product selling. After the tip, we go backstage where Bruce shares why he does what he does, how he gives back at work, his favorite marketing tool, and more. My name is Bruce Felber. I am the corporate brand specialist for the Image Group. Today I'm going to talk about outcome selling versus product selling and what it means to you. The outcome is what you expect to happen out of this marketing campaign as opposed to a quick fix of a product or service to accomplish that. Outcome selling is the end result that you or your client desire to move your marketing forward. What they want and what they want the project to be. An outcome is I want 60% more sales and widgets this month and I want to do it with the least amount of dollars as possible or I have a new brand and I need to get the brand out there as opposed to product selling or transactional selling which is coming up with a solution that may be a temporary fix but it's not the ultimate solution. It may not be the desired result. I mean, an example of a product would be a brochure, you know, trade show promotion, that type of thing. Get the best results for you or your client by learning to understand that how important the outcome is as opposed to the quick fix of a product or service. The first step is to probe your customer. What I mean by that is don't be afraid to ask questions. Why is this product important to your consumer or to you know your audience what do you want it to do why do you want to increase sales why is it important to you what's the profit structure that's what probing is learning what your customers needs are and understanding their desires the wrong questions would be what do you want this to cost when do you want this to go out there Th those are transactional questions after agreement has been reached on the desired outcomes, it's now time to develop a continuity campaign to carry those messages out to the desired audience consistently and with the same message. An example of a continuity program is using the same colors, the same typeface, the same graphics uh, to get that message across. And that means carrying it across any part of the campaign that you do so that you're always tying back into the tagline, the message, and the brand. It should carry the same message and it should have that strong call to action. Call to action is what do you want me to do when I've seen this ad, I've received this piece. Do you want me to call you, go to a website, go to an event, uh, respond? So now it's your chance to get the big picture by focusing on outcome rather than individual product or transactional sales. Up next, we get to know Bruce. Bruce shares why it's important to treat every business like a family business. There's a certain dynamics that you get with a family business of all working together. Not like the Godfather, where you know, you're not supposed to talk business at the table. Uh, you tend to do it. You eat and breathe your family business. And I think that desire to grow has given me that same ability to take what I've learned in a family setting and treat my clients like family to have their results uh, for what they want to do. The reason I put all my soul and energy into uh, the work that I do is the desire for my clients to, to become part of the uh, solution. Um, is that a detriment? At times I get too deep into them and I take it too seriously, but at the end it's, it's making sure that we all want the same thing and the same desires just like you would living in a family environment. It's, it's not always about the money, it's wanting to do a good job for everybody that you work with. And sometimes it is a detriment, but sometimes you do it anyway. But it's also sometimes the most fun. And that's, to me, if, if you're not enjoying what you're doing, then why are you doing it to begin with? When he's not practicing his craft, Bruce is likely sharing his knowledge with others. I think the reason why I volunteer and maybe volunteer too much is I like to give back to uh, those people who have contributed to my success. I just think it's important. I think it's 
one of the responsibilities we have as humans is to uh, is to constantly try to make things better. I'm currently serving on the Cuyahoga Valley Chamber of Commerce Board. I've previously served on the Streetsboro Area Chamber of Commerce where I was president. I've served as a two-time president of the Ohio Promotional Professionals Organization and even served as the trade show and education chairman for five years. I have served on almost every committee that I can think of for the Promotional Products Association International. I served on the Charter Review Board for our city. I've had two political action committees where I've tried to uh, help out the city in different ways and educate citizens for certain issues. I just enjoyed that. Uh, you know, it wasn't about um, what was going to do for me. It was what can we do as a whole for the industry. Um, so I guess my, my advice is that get involved in your industry, get involved in your associations, get involved in your community. Um, that old saying, what you put in is what you're going to get back out. Seeing is believing. Bruce took the time to show us an example of using a simple communications piece to control outcomes and why it's one of his favorites. So, Juliana, we talked about outcomes at the beginning. This is one of my favorite pieces to control outcome. It's called the logo loop, and it's basically a communication piece where graphics and copy communicate just as you're doing now, as you're folding it and unfolding it, you're getting a different message each time, and then it takes you back to the center. What I like best about this piece is, number one, it's flat, so it, it mails easily, it can be handed out easily. Um, it offers a lot of real estate opportunity. When I say real estate, a lot of uh, ability for graphics and copy points. It's interactive. The more somebody interacts with something, the more they're gonna read it and get that message. Um, and it's fun. So how did Bruce score as a Grow Your Business Cleveland expert? We gave a thumbs up for creating outcomes, treating clients like family, serving the community, and being a baby boomer. Special thanks goes to our Grow Your Business Cleveland contributing experts for supporting our mission of growing business and kickstarting careers in Northeast Ohio. So don't miss a video or an opportunity to be part of the show. Subscribe at GYBCLE.com and follow us on our social media channels. And remember, if you like it, share it.